What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? How's your mama doing? How's your mama doing? Well, tonight, well, well, it's the, well, this morning, whatever. I want to do. A, I'm doing this video about how underage people are actually trying to add older people. You probably trying to add. I mean, how underage underage teens are adding older people to their Facebook or MySpace because one of my friends just got a request, friends request from a girl that was 17 years old and this girl was hitting on my friend and my friend sadistic died sadistic, my sadistic is that friend that got hit on by a 17 year old and I, I don't bullshit nobody. This is the truth. Uh, I'm not gonna downplay nobody. I'm not trying to sit there. I'm not gonna get this girl in trouble because one thing is, if I did, if I show the girl's picture or get something like that, it, to me it'd be cyberbullying. And uh, that's how it is. If I did that, that'd be kind of like cyberbullying, way punk uh, doing the shit like that, but. And uh, and I thought it was kind of weird because my friend told this. I checked it out. I say, man, that's that's kind of bullshit. That that's kind of like not bullshit, but kind of fucked up. How some teenager adds you on Facebook and then turn around to say, "Hey, sexy, how you doing?" The girl, seventeen years old. My friend said this. That she's twenty-four. Like, I, I'm not, if I'm lying, I'm crying. If I'm lying, I'm crying. And I'm not crying. And, uh, if I'm lying, I'm crying. Because back in the day when I used to do shows on Now Live, I used to do shows on a site called Now Live. If you go to Now Live now, it's the Jack shit, just videos of people going to premieres. But, uh, but back on now life, back in the day, back in like 07, 08, I used to do shows. This is back when MySpace was still popping. And uh, I used to tell people, I say, if y'all want to add me on MySpace, you got to tell me who you are and where the fuck we met at. Because you cannot, if you don't tell me where you met me at, I'm not going to add you. I'm going to block you. And I used to do that at every show I did. The people and it actually worked. It worked. It kept me from adding people I didn't know from the people I do know. And this and to me, it's just some shit that some strange seventeen year old is gonna hit on a four, on a twenty four year old woman. And to my mind, I'm like, okay, did I miss a memo? Did I miss a meeting? Uh, what's going on? Why is this 17 year old trying to holler at a 24 year old? It's the same as like if you let a 9 year old try to holler at a 21 year old or a 20 year old. What is up? Like, so this, do you have anything to say about this? Um, it was just odd because, you know, I don't know if her person and we're mutual friends with one person and I, you know, had him on my Facebook for a couple months now and like out of the blue today she just hits me up and you know I, I was nice, I wasn't being a hateful old truck rag you know she was like you know kind of getting a little edgy talk I'm not going to say what she said but um, basically she wanted some escape photos of me and I was like well for one I don't just give out new pictures of myself, that's not me. And another, you're underage, and I don't need Chris Hansen and the pervert justice knocking on my fucking door. Because I'm not a pervert like that. So, um, after I told her that, you know, I was like, no, I'm sorry, but I can't. You know, I haven't heard from her at all. So, I don't know. I mean, she's a beautiful girl, but... You know, you don't know if it's someone pretending to be a 17-year-old trying to bust the perverts, or, you know, you, you 
just you don't know. So yeah. Then I tell and I tell you this though, as as long as I've been around, like as long as I've watched uh, Dateline and all I care. Yeah. Like as long as I've been around and watched Perverted Justice and Chris Hansen and all that shit, I kind of like it makes me think on who do you talk to? Cause you gotta you gotta question this shit. To me, that well it cut well I tell you this it kind of happened to me because people I didn't know would add me on trying to add me on Facebook like do I know you where we met at who are you? And once I ask them questions, they disappear, and they they delete their profile. They get mad to delete their profile because they are because they got caught. But it, but why would anybody anybody trying to add somebody that you don't know? Like I got a, I got a YouTube, you know, I got YouTube, two channels, and I got a Twitter. Like I can understand YouTube because you get people subscribing to your channel, so that I can understand because you're getting the people's opinion. I can understand that. Twitter, I can understand that too because you get followers following you on Twitter to see what your opinions or your thoughts. But when it comes down to people on Facebook or on Facebook or MySpace, you got to ask them questions. Who is these people that's trying to add you? I don't know these people. My friend don't know these people. But you got to question this shit. Because to me, it could be a police officer. Like I always say, you got to watch what the fuck you say and do on the internet. Because you don't know who the fuck they are. Like my friend said, this girl, I don't know if y'all heard her good enough, but she said was, the girl asked her for nudity, nudity, nudity pictures. And she told him, uh, I don't know you, you're probably Chris Hansen and Perverted Justice. I kind of agree with my friend Sadistic. Because my friend don't know who she is. Just because you see her as a mutual friend to one of your friends. Or, or something. Or you may see that she's on one of your friend, uh, your friends' friends list. Doesn't mean you know that person. I got a shitload of friends that know me. From school, from websites to second, from from Second Life, from Now Live, from live video, from Blog TV, from Stick Camp, from five different sites, people know me from, and people from high, from when I went to high school with six places, man. relatives and, and that's all it is friends were friends relatives and people who know me from five by like five or six different sites but it's bullshit that a complete stranger that is under the age of 18 would come up and hit on you hit on somebody older like for real are you are you are you that stupid Cause one thing is, if you're under the age of 18 and you're trying to get attention from somebody that's over the age of 21, then you definitely need some help, baby girl. Because one thing is, don't try to holler at me like that, knowing that I'm old enough to be your fucking brother, knowing that my friend Sadistic is old enough to be your sister. God, I'll be 25 next month. <laughs> yeah, she'll be 25 next month. I'll be 20, 28 in two months. No, actually, not next month, but the month after. I'm not going to say what day, though. Because it's not your fucking business. But, uh... It made me feel really uncomfortable, you know? Yeah. 
I would too. I would be uncomfortable myself. I mean, if she had a, like, hit on me, it wouldn't have been a big deal, you know. But, I mean, yeah, she's going to be 18 next month, too, but still, it's like, seriously? I ain't going to, you know, get myself caught with some shit I can't get out of. Yeah. I, 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 and I agree with this. Like, if you was 18 or 19, yeah, you can holler at me because that's the age limit where you are considered as an adult. But when you hit 21, that's when the laws kind of work even better for you because you're over the age of 21. But when you're 18, it makes you an adult, but not fully an adult till you hit 21. Because you can do silly shit when you're 21. Like, you can drink. Like for real, I got, yeah, drink, gamble, that's, strip clubs. fuck yeah, strip clubs, you can, whatever, because when you hit 21, but when you 18, you're considered an adult, but not a full adult, if you, if you, if she was 18 or 19, yeah, it wouldn't be a problem, it wouldn't be a fucking problem, but since she's under age, like, come on, I'm not gonna ride from, I'm not gonna ride from the cradle, I'm not gonna fuck no baby. I'm not no. I'm not no pervert. I, like I, I might be a pervert, but I don't think about fucking kids. I don't. I don't. I don't sit there. Oh, I want no. I'm not one of them fuckers off of perverted justice. They get caught, and it fucks me up to see shit like that, man. It, it fucks me up, man. Like, like I don't know what made this girl want to add my friend. In. That's what I'm thinking, like, eh? oh. and I agree with her. So I don't know what made her think to add her as a friend. Because I wouldn't add. Uh, uh, I just don't get it, man. Like, I, I just don't know what to say to that, man. I just don't know what to say to that. Like, are you for real? And that's how it is. Do you really want to risk your... Do you... Like, it, it, it is... Like, because one thing is, because, you know, when you're a teenager, your hormones go out of whack. And you ready to fuck somebody? But are you that desperate to fuck an adult and get them in so much trouble? Like in some state, to me it's like it's like to me it's like it's, it goes right into politics or laws. It's funny how the government sits there and makes a law. Anybody under the age of 18 is considered as a minor, so it's against the law for somebody over the age of 21. Somebody, no, actually, it's not, not 21, but it's against the law for anybody over the age of 18 to have sex with somebody under eight, under the age of 20, uh, 18. But in some states of this bullshit country, gives the right to every fucking 25, no, from 21 to 69 or 99 to marry in a fucking 15 year old you probably wonder what the fuck I'm talking about what I'm saying is there's some laws where an adult can marry a minor as long as the parents can sign the papers saying yep you can marry them that's that's how it is don't make a law and just sit there and make a fucked up law where you get like parents can say oh yeah you can marry them cause to me it cancels out that fucking that whole 
Oh, you can't fuck a minor. If you're going to make a law about protecting kids from pedophiles, make it true. Get rid of that fucking piece of paper saying, I give, I give rights, I give my, give rights to my child to marry this 85 year old motherfucker. But it's, but it's like, it's, I don't like, for real, don't act like, I'm going to say it again, man. If you, if you know, like, if you know me, and if you know me, you guys, like, if you're going to add me to Facebook, I'm going to say it again. If you're going to add me to Facebook, you got to tell me where we fucking met at and how do you fucking know me. If I don't know you, don't even think about it. But this girl should realize something. You just can't ask somebody you don't know. You just can't ask somebody that you don't know. You got anything else left to say, Miss Sadistic? Nope. Nope. Like, man, yeah, you gotta. Like, I always had people that I know or they know me. I'm not going to ask somebody that I don't know. If I don't know you, I'm going to question you. And there's been a, and I did that before. I've actually questioned people that I didn't know and they left. They delete their whole page because I busted their ass. And that's how it should be. I just, I just don't want this part, this teenager get herself hurt because she was thinking about hitting on some 24 year old that she don't know shit about. That she don't know shit about. Uh, it's just it's just something else man it's just something else man when you see shit like that it's just some shit like that man cause shit like that will get you caught up in something that you can't get out of and this girl's trying to get my friend caught up that she can't get out of I ain't I, I ain't trying to be hard on the person, but it is be it is what it is. You gotta be fucking careful who, on who the fuck you add as a friend because you can be adding the wrong bit person, be uh, adding the wrong person, and they come kill your ass or something or whatever. You get end up getting a stalker. You know, like that, cause oh man, I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you, man, I just don't want to see this girl get caught up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, t I'm telling like T.A. is. If you like what I got to say, tell me what you think in a comment or a video response. Find me on Twitter at AfroJoeTheWookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. I hope y'all like the new picture I got up instead of the Wookiee flipping, but I'll probably use some new, new pictures just to do videos off of but like I said don't add somebody that you don't know don't add somebody you don't know because you don't because you don't know who they are and you don't know what they're capable capable of doing are you sure you ain't got nothing else to say I'm positive okay hit me up like holla at me peace love and afro grease <laughs>